November is actually the wettest month for the city of Vancouver. It's when we get a lot of our atmospheric river events and we pile up the alpine snow for skiers and snowboarders. Not so much this November. Uh, the next seven days is going to feature this big H, which is a high pressure ridge. That means lots of sunshine, not a lot in the way of weather systems, not a lot in the way of rain or snow. So we're going to look at just how much we've seen so far this season. Normally uh, for the uh, YVR, the International Airport, it'd be about 185.8 millimeters of rain on average for the month. But remember, that could be much higher or lower to get that average. We're sitting at 106.6 millimeters, and it's certainly dry across the interior. What a contrast to just a few years ago in 2021, where we had the atmospheric river that, of course, uh, flooded out the area with uh, Agassiz at 228 millimeters of rain, Hope at 252. Of course, we had uh, our highways, you know, compromised and the infrastructure was compromised province wide. So here's the other thing. Because of the lack of rainfall, this may delay some ski resorts from opening for the season. Silver Star is expected to open November 30th still. Whistler expected to open on the 23rd, but Big White had to delay their opening by a week to November 30th because they only have a base of 38 centimeters at last check. Revelstoke a little more, Whistler sitting at about 50 centimeters, but don't despair. Even though we're in an El Nino and that usually means less of a ski season, there have been several El Nino uh, years back in 2002 and three where we actually had above average snowpack. So hang in there, lots more winter to come.